أتعشقها أم رثيت لحالي فجئت تشاركني في السهام أتعشق مثل الربا والشجاع فتهدي الضياء لها يا قمر أتعشقها أم رثيت لحالي فجئت تشاركني في السهر أعزك أني مقيم الرحال فسيح الخيال بعيد النظر نقيم ونحسب أن نقيم وأيامنا كلها في سفر وتخدعنا بهرجات الحياة فنصحو على يومنا المنتظر Assalamu alaikum, hope you're doing well, inshallah. It's Friday, I am just about to enjoy my coffee. We had our morning Surah Al-Kaf session at 6.30am. I had a little bit of a rough night um, of sleep. Let me just take a sip, the first sip is always the best. I really need this today. Alhamdulillah, I'm so grateful for a good cup. Okay, it is Friday. I know it's been a few weeks since um, I have filmed. Just trying to balance everything. And I was this close to not filming today. Basically, all week long, I was planning, okay, you know what? Friday's gonna be filming day. Weekend, I'm gonna get adjusted and get on a better schedule because my schedule has been super rough. There's been a construction project going on. So I haven't really had access to like half the space basically anyways and then this week i told myself you know what friday i'm just going to whip out this camera and just get back um, in the flow of things and then last night i had a super rough night of sleep i don't know why i went to bed around 11 p.m and then i woke up at 1 30. I was able to go back to sleep for a little bit and then I woke up at 2.30 and then I could not fall back asleep and so here I am now. <laughs> because I had a rough night of sleep I was like you know what maybe it's not a good day to film and then I said <laughs> you know what there's never going to be a perfect day to film so just do it yeah it's fine if it's a rough day this is the reality so this is just a real day of lack of sleep i don't know what the day is going to look like alhamdulillah it's friday so it's the end of the week so at least i know that i can rest tonight inshallah since tomorrow is not a work day so i think that's keeping me going anyway so that explains if i look tired that's because i'm running on I think three hours at most of sleep. So far I'm feeling okay and I'm hoping that this uh, coffee helps get me going. I got a little bit of work done because I had some deadlines uh, to make and I have a little bit more that I want to get done uh, now and then I'll make a quick breakfast inshallah. So Okay, it's a little bit later, it's about 2.30. I'm gonna take a break, I have groceries that I just arrived, so it's a good time to take a break, inshallah. I'm gonna have some lunch and get back to it. Alhamdulillah, I am not feeling too tired, which is good, so I was able to work efficiently. I have a little bit um, work left, but um, yeah, inshallah, I'm hoping to head into the weekend with a clear slate in terms of work so that I can focus on other projects and other things, inshallah, I'm hoping. I want this weekend to kind of be a reset, I feel like I'm constantly needing resets uh, lately because I'm just scrambling, 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 too many things, and then I need to kind of 
adjust, reset to get things back in order. So this weekend, inshallah, I'm planning to do that. I also saw a reminder um, today because it's the last Jum'ah before the new Hijri year, inshallah. And I saw a reminder saying that the Prophet Wasallam says that surely deeds are only judged by their endings. So let's end this year strong, inshallah. So I thought it was a nice uh, reminder. So sharing it uh, here as well, inshallah. Um, hopefully this video will go out before the end of the new year inshallah so uh, yeah let's try to end this uh, year strong and enter this new year inshallah with good intentions and it's a good time to kind of reset reevaluate uh, what we are doing inshallah also because today is friday um i thought i'd share a quick reflection so basically every friday we are reciting surah al-kaf as a group and subhanallah i feel like you know in surah al-kaf there's four general stories um trial of wealth trial of knowledge and so on there's four main topics right but even within each of those stories there's so many lessons and i feel like every time we read it there's something new that catches the eye and subhanallah it's just that you know the quran is so deep that there's so many lessons upon lessons upon lessons there's so many layers of lessons lessons uh within it um that you can always come out of it with something new inshallah if you're reflecting uh, upon the verses and learning and something recently i was thinking about connected to surat al kahf is the companions of the cave the youth uh, in the cave they this group of youth they just left their community right to protect their faith and their belief and subhanallah when you think about it they literally left with pretty much nothing. It's not like they could carry a month supply of food with them and uh, all clothes and all their belongings and things, right? They had to leave things behind and just leave. And subhanAllah, when you think about it, at that time also, it's not like they had cars and transportation. It wasn't easy to get around, right? It's not like now we can just throw a bunch of food and clothes and belongings and things in our car and have a car full of things right they couldn't take much with them it was just them and what they could simply carry it just shows that their trust in allah right that they trusted that even though they didn't know where they were going how they were going to support themselves how they were going to feed themselves how they were going to survive they didn't know but all they knew is that they wanted to protect their faith and they trusted allah right they had that trust in allah that he would aid them right so they did what they could they left and they made dua right and subhanallah then we see how allah protected them and it just makes you think or at least i was thinking personally about this i was like you know would i if i was in that situation would i be able to do such a thing and just leave everything behind and have nothing but my faith subhanallah and then it makes you think alhamdulillah that I'm not tested with that trial and it also is a reminder that you know Allah tests you with what you can bear right and so it's just a reminder that alhamdulillah that we are not tested with certain things that we may not be able to handle it's easy for us to say alhamdulillah for things we gain right because it's easy to see those blessings like we achieved something we gained something we bought something we got what whatever it is right when when you feel it and see it, it's easier to say Alhamdulillah for that blessing than it is to say Alhamdulillah for things that don't happen, right? Like Alhamdulillah for those trials that I'm not tested with. It's more difficult to recognize that. Anyways, that was just a quick reflection. I was just thinking that Alhamdulillah for the things that we are not tested with, right? Because every day we could be tested with something, but Alhamdulillah that you know, we are protected from certain trials uh, and tests and things. And alhamdulillah, f that we are able to bear the trials that we do have. It's just a reminder to be grateful for my current situation, alhamdulillah, and not having certain tests that I don't know if I would pass those tests, right? So alhamdulillah. Anyways, I'm going to take a break and grab some food inshallah. I think I'm just going to make a quick pasta. It's been my go-to lately to just move up a quick pasta because it's easy uh, to have. So got groceries a few days ago and then didn't realize that there was a bag that was left in the car for several days and it was a bag of eggs. 
and cheese. I realized this morning when I wanted to make eggs for breakfast. So, got some eggs delivered. I'm gonna put it straight in the fridge before I forget. Okay, done. <laughs> I survived the workday. Alhamdulillah, it's 5 p.m. So I am logging off for today. I do have some other things I need to switch over to. I need to prep for the Sisterhood Saturday session tomorrow. But I want to take a break. I <laughs> decided to make banana bread. I know that doesn't sound like a break, <laughs> but I don't know. I find baking therapeutic. I find it relaxing and calming. So I'm gonna make some banana bread. I'm gonna bake that. It's a pretty simple, quick uh, recipe. I'll post it down below in case you wanna try it out. I am making some substitutions. I'm doing less butter than the recipe calls. And instead of sugar, I'm doing date sugar. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so